Okay, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to remove the stem on a Seiko 7C46 movement. This is my beloved tuner watch. It's the 7C46 7011 quartz diver, as you can see. I've loosened the case back so we can have a look inside. This is a really uh, long lasting movement. It's been in production for uh, well over a decade and really built up a good reputation for itself. To remove the stem, obviously we need to unscrew the crown, uh, but we don't need to pull out the crown to the first or second click, just unscrew it only. And there are no sort of words saying push or, or arrows pointing where the stem release tab is inside. But fortunately it's quite easy to see it. So we've got a hole here near the stem with a little sort of dimple on the end of the tab in there. If we do pull out the crown one click or two clicks, you can see the tab disappears. We don't want that, so just unscrew the crown, don't pull it out any further. And then with something sharp like this, just press down on that dimple, we gently push on the tab, and that frees up the stem so we can pull it out. Okay, and push it back in. Just slide it in gently. Wiggle backwards and forwards a little bit if you need to. If it doesn't go in straight away, ah, there we go. Just uh, pull out and keep trying, and there we go. Don't forget to screw it in at the end. Keep it watertight. And we're done. How to remove the stem and place it on a Seiko 7C46 movement.